All right, so welcome back to the channel. My name is Setson. Today, I want to talk about virtual environments. So one of the nightmares of any developer or any software engineer is to have what we call dependency conflicts. Let's say you are creating two projects and these projects are being created in the same environment and they are depending on somewhat similar dependencies and one of the project is breaking because this dependency is not the correct version and so you try to upgrade this you know dependency and then it breaks this other project because it's not compatible and so the solution that you have to that is being able to work with virtual environments you want to separate your projects into different environments and so that's what i want to share with you today this might not be obvious to uh, a beginner uh, because you are working with smaller projects you are able to get away with you know smaller projects in that one global environment but uh, this will catch up with you uh, as you start to build bigger projects and so you want to get into the habit of creating virtual environments and so that's what we're going to be looking at. I'm going to look at two modules that we can use in Python. One is called VNV, the other one is called Virtual ENV. But before we get into that, remember to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment and that's going to help this channel in a long way. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's jump into our tutorial. All right, so the first thing that we have to do is we have to navigate to the directory where we want to create our virtual environments. And so I want to create my virtual environment inside this project four. So I'm going to right click here, open in terminal, and then it's going to open this terminal window. This is CMD uh, on Windows, terminal on Linux and Mac. And so right here, we are going to do or ls uh, work with powershell ls and see there is nothing in this directory and so we want to create our virtual environment using the venv module this comes with the python standard library so we need to check whether we have python installed on our computer python on windows python 3 on mac and linux and then dash dash version if you see the version right here, it means you have Python installed. If you do not, it means you do not have Python installed. So, so go to python.org, download the version of Python that you want to install on your computer, run the installation. And remember this, check the box which says add Python to path. And this will allow you to run this Python command in your command terminal. Right, having our Python installed, now we know we, we have this VNV module installed and so we can use it to create our first virtual environment. And so to use this, we have to say Python dash M or Python 3 if you're on Mac on Linux dash module uh, and then the name of the module that we want to use and then the name of the virtual environment that we want to create. We want to create a virtual environment called vert. If I run this you will definitely uh, create a virtual environment. So right now, if I ls now, you can see we have successfully created a virtual environment here. And for now, let me pick a list. We are still in the global environment. And you can see the packages that we have in our global environment. We have a lot of them. Uh, of course, this might differ uh, on your computer because you might not have a lot of these packages installed in your global environment. And so don't worry if it's different. And so we want to activate that virtual environment. For us to activate that virtual environment, this is the command that we use. On Windows, you use vert backward slash scripts backward slash activate. To run that, you can see here. Uh, our path is now prefixed with the name of our virtual environment and that means we are inside that virtual environment so we can confirm by pip listing and you can see we only have two packages installed in this virtual environment and we are good to go if you are on linux or mac you might want to use this command to activate your virtual environment source and then the name of your virtual environment forward slash bin forward slash activate uh, like this and this will um activate your virtual environment all right so let's check the python version that is running here we can just simply run python or python 3 you can see we're running 3.11.4 which is the one that is in our global environment and so vnv will create a virtual environment with the same version of python as the one in your global environment all right so we are done with this to deactivate we just write deactivate 
like that and then we are good we are back in our global environment you can see right here it's no longer prefixed with this vert all right so that's the first way the second way is by using an external module which is called virtual env so we first have to install that virtual env because it does not come with the standard library and so we can run this command pip or pip3 install virtual env and then if you run that you'll see the installation or you can have this requirement already satisfied because i already have it installed and once you finish that you can pip list and you're supposed to see the virtual env down here you can see right here we have it inside here so we have our module that we want to use to create a virtual environment and so to create a virtual environment using virtual env just run this command virtual env and then the name of the virtual environment you want to create i want to create a virtual environment called my env uh, you can name it whatever you want or we can call it my vert so we can run this it's going to create a virtual environment however uh, the advantage of using this virtual env is that you can specify a different version of python uh, we saw that with the first one with the first module the the python version that is running in your global environment is the one that is used to create the virtual environment but for this one you can specify a different version by specifying a dash p right here and then copying the path uh, to that uh, version of python and so i will show you this step we can come up here search for python fortunately for me i have two versions of python that i installed yeah you are allowed to install multiple versions of python on your computer um, but of course one is going to be added to the path and so i have 3.11 added to the path that's why each time i write python in my command prompt it gives me 3.11 because it's the one that is added to the path this 3.9 is just in my computer but it's not added to the path and so i want to use this 3.9 to create a virtual environment so you look up for python and then go to the version that you want to use in my case i want to use 3.9 and then i want to open file location right here you can see this we need this binary here and we right click that thing properties and then we want to copy the target right here on the shortcut so copy this target and then go back to here to the terminal and dash p provide the space here and then paste that path and so now you can provide the name of your virtual environment here so p for the python version you want to use i'm using a different version which is 3.9 not 3.11 and then the name of the virtual environment if i run this command uh, let me see run this command and you will see it says created virtual environment using python 3.9 in this time and so if i ls now you can see i have two uh, virtual environments here one is called my vert and the other one is called vert for this we used venv which comes with the python standard library and then this one we used an external module which is called virtual env and we have it and everything else is the same to activate we can just say my vert on windows backward slash scripts backward slash activate and if we run that you can see it says my vert right here here prefixed my vert and then your path right here so we are in that environment if i run python now want to see the version of python you can see it's running 3.9 because that's what we used to create this virtual environment and yeah we are good like that um if you're on a mac is the same source uh, my vert forward slash bin forward slash activate on windows we use backward slashes on on linux or mac we use forward slashes and if you run this you then have your uh, virtual environment activated all right so with this if you want to deactivate it the same you can deactivate but before i deactivate i want to pip list to see what is in there uh you can see this one comes with the third package which is will pip setup tools and will and so let me deactivate this 
All right, so if you want to get rid of uh, your virtual environments, you want to delete them, um, I'm using PowerShell here. In PowerShell, you can use remove dash item dash recurse recursively and then dash force and then the name of uh, the directory you want to remove. So I want to remove it, hit that. And then if we ls now, you can see now I'm left with my vert. If you are or in the command prompt, which is not partial, you can just use remove the forward slash capital letter S and then the name of the uh, directory. And this will not work in, in partial. If you're on Linux here, yeah, you can use rm-if and then the name of uh, the directory that you want to remove, it's going to work as well. Yeah, so we have seen how we can create virtual environments. Uh, so you need to learn that, get comfortable with creating those virtual environments and in no time you will understand why it's important to create virtual environments. I hope that was helpful. If you find this video helpful, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you in our next tutorial. For now, I'm out. Bye-bye.